Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on derivation of subject level population flags which are commonly used in ADSL. As part of this video series, we have seen how to derive screen failure population flag and randomized population flag earlier. In this video, we will see how to derive safety population flag which is SAFFL. Let us take a look at the derivation algorithm provided to us. It says create this flag using data collected in EX data set. A subject would be called a safety subject if he is randomized and has taken at least one dose of study medication. In this example, populate safety flag as Y for those subjects who are randomized which is randfl is equal to Y and have taken at least one dose of study medication. So which can be identified by using the filter condition where TRT SDT not is equal to missing. For non-safety subjects this flag will be populated as N. So if we see as part of the previous video series we have seen how to derive some of the key date variables of which we have seen how to derive TRT SDT using exposure data. So we are making use of that variable to check whether the subject has actually received a dose or not in this safety flag derivation. So which is getting translated into the specification as TRT SDT not is equal to missing. So whenever TRT SDT is not equal to missing that which means that the subject has taken at least one dose of medication. So we are using that information along with randomization information to populate safety flag. Now let us come back to our manual process of identifying the subjects. So the base data set for creating our ADSL is SDTM demographics data set. As in this video series we are seeing data for five subjects starting from 1001 to 1005. So the input required for creation of safety flag is TRT SDT and randomization flag. So I have previously derived TRT, SDT, TRT, EDT and other key date variables and kept them ready here. And in this video series, in the previous video, we have seen how to derive randomized, randomized population flag and we have it ready here. So we are asked to populate safety flag as Y for the subjects who are having randomization flag is equal to Y and TRT, SDT is not is equal to missing. Let us try to filter for randomized subjects first. And then the additional condition is non-missing values in TRT SDT. So these are the subjects who will have our safety flag as Y. And for all the other subjects we need to populate it as N. So we are left with two other subjects 1001 and 1003. So what is happening here? The first subject is not randomized at all. So by definition, so the subject should have been randomized. So the subject is having a screen failure uh, safety flag as N be just because the randfl is equal to N. And for subject 1003, this subject is randomized but has not taken a dose yet. So we are having the safety flag as no here. So let us now see how to programmatically implement this logic. So I have previously derived TRT SDT and kept it in a data set name TRT SDT. So I am merging randomization flag which I have derived in the previous uh, video series and then I am merging randfl and TRT SDT to my SDTM DM data set because I need both the components whether the subject is randomized or whether the subject has a presence of TRT SDT or not. So I am merging these two data sets to my DM data set and I am creating my randomized flag as part of this itself and then I am creating my safety flag. Here I am checking the condition as per the specification the subject should take should have randomized flag is equal to Y and non-missing TRT SDT. So for the subjects who took a treatment they will have a record in TRT SDT and their value would be not null. So if a subject has both the components or conditions met which is randfl is equal to y and trt sdt not is equal to missing value of y is being assigned to safety flag and for all the other cases we are assigning a value of n to safety flag which is as per the requirement so let us run this code and then see if we 
get the same safety flag values for the subjects in, a, in the same fashion as how we have manually identified. Let us open ADSL. Yeah, if we see, safety flag is N for 1001 and 1003 and for all the other subjects it is Y. Let us cross check this with our manually identified values. It has to be N only for 1001, yes, and then N for 1003. And for all the other subjects, it has to be Y. So the manually identified values and the programmatically identified values are matching. So this is how we can derive safety flag in ADSL dataset when it is required.